Hey nature detectives, I'm Conrad at Lecturer State Park and today I have a nature mystery for you. I found this. A lot of people look at this and they think, oh that's a spring flower, easy peasy. But using a couple nature tools, we can figure out what this really is and how it helps us every single day. Fortunately, we carry these nature tools with us each and every day. They're our eyes and our fingers. First nature clue we'll use to figure out what this is, is by looking at its color. Do you notice that this is kind of a drab, brown, tan color? That's an odd color for a flower. Hmm. Using our fingers, let's feel what seem to be the petals of this flower. Can you hear how they're kind of scratchy and scratchily? And they're, oh my, they're falling right apart. They're crumbling away from the stem of this flower. These aren't petals at all. Looking more closely, they have little bumps at the base. And opening up one of those tiny little bases and bumps on the flower petal, ah, it's a seed. This is a seed pod. It's a seed pod from a plant that we don't normally get to see very up close. This is an odd kind of a seed pod, understandable why someone would think it's a flower, because these seed pods grow way up above our heads on trees. Those little petals, what look like the petals, are really called samaras. Those are little helicopter seed pods just like you'd find on a maple tree. These are the seed pods of a tulip tree, also sometimes called a tulip poplar. These kinds of trees are not very closely related to real poplars. They're a magnolia, if you're familiar with magnolias. A lot of people know the magnolias for their beautiful flowers that are used a lot in landscaping. And these tulip tree poplars are no exception in the magnolia group. They have beautiful flowers that come out in May and sometimes into June. And when those flowers are fertilized, they turn into these wonderful seed pods that stay on the tree, sometimes for a long time. This seed pod clearly stayed on the tree all the way through winter and then blew off or was knocked down and fell down to the ground completely intact, completely whole, and was waiting there uh, when I found it. It was completely untouched. Now, if you really want to put your nature detective skills to the test, go try to find a tulip tree in your neighborhood. Sometimes they're used as landscaping trees, but more commonly they're used in parks. Not only enormous state parks like Letchworth State Park, but also in smaller town parks, county parks, local parks. You'll see them uh, way out in the middle of lawns sometimes. Tulip trees are some of the tallest trees around. They're very useful as landscaping trees. And hey, over the summer, make sure you watch up at the very top. You might see some great big yellow butterflies. One of my favorites, the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail, which lays eggs on the leaves. And those eggs hatch into tiny little caterpillars that eat tulip tree leaves just in the same way that monarch caterpillars eat milkweed. The tulip tree poplar is a very important food source for eastern tiger swallowtail butterflies and a few others. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's Nature Mystery. If you have any questions about tulip trees or other kinds of trees in western New York, please put a comment in the comment section below the video. Share this video with your friends to put their nature detective skills to the test. And as always, like Letro State Park's Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to us on YouTube to stay tuned for more nature mysteries.